Hi, I'm Kerry Hartwig with Sukup Manufacturing. Welcome back to our Dryer Service Video Education Series. Today we're going to talk about upgrading software on a QuadroTouch Pro. Now, I've already got software downloaded and, and installed on my USB stick. Um, the first thing we need to do is insert the USB stick into the QuadroTouch Pro touchscreen. The port to do that is going to be on the bottom of the touchscreen here. Um, now today, uh, since I can't quite put that in there and set this on, uh, on the table, I'm going to insert the uh, USB stick inside here on any one of the, uh, um, of the four USB sticks that are available. Okay, once I have the USB installed, uh, then we're gonna go to Tools, Update Tools menu, Quarter Touch Update, and then we're gonna do step number one. Step number one is updating the quarter touch panel itself. This is the first step. Uh, the second step will involve programming the PLC. Okay, at this point, the software has been downloaded from the USB stick to the touchscreen. The touchscreen has rebooted the Quarter Touch Pro software, um, and now the touchscreen itself is running the new version. Um, it's going to say dryers found, and I can hit next here. Now, if we're going up in software from 2 point something up to 3.0, it's going to automatically tell me I need to, to do step number two. If we happen to be going down in software, it will not automatically tell me that, but you always need to do step one and step two, uh, no, matter, no matter if it asks you to or forces you to or not. Now we're going to go to Tools, Update Tools menu, Quarter Touch Update, so now we're going to do step number two. So I press step number two, and notice we have a picture of the PLC on the screen here. We need to take a look at the PLC on the dryer itself and make sure it exactly matches this. So you can see as I touch different programs, the number of input output cards, the, the blue, red, green, and yellow cards changes. And I have to make sure that the program I select, and sometimes changing an, an incoming sensor um, or a column temp sensor may change that as well, but I have to make sure that the picture on the touchscreen exactly matches the picture of the PLC on the dryer that we're updating. The next thing we need to check is the number on the PLC itself. It's either going to be a 150 or a 151. Now we've used 150 PLCs all the way up through 2019. Uh, now in 2020, we're, we're starting to change to the 151 series PLCs. And you can see where the number of the PLC is. It's right on here. Um, and we can look at a close-up of that as well. And again, most dryers that are older than 2020 are going to be a 150 PLC. We need to make sure that is selected correctly, and we're going to push Update PLC. We should see a PLC update in progress. It's going to load the program to the PLC, and then it's going to cycle power, turn the PLC off, and turn it back on and reboot it. And we should see a DOS screen like this um, showing us that it's that's loading the program to the PLC. Okay, good news. The PLC has updated successfully. Now we'll click Next. Now, I think it's always a good idea to double check and make sure we have software uh, on the PLC and the touchscreen cor correctly. So we're going to go to Tools, and, and then we're going to go to uh, System Tools, and then we're going to go here to System Information, and we want to verify that the PLC and the HMI both have the exact same software number. And in this case, 3.0 and 3.0, that's the software we were trying to install, so it was a successful um, software installation. Remember, this video can be found right here on our website at www.sukup.com or on our YouTube channel, Sukup MFG. Thank you for watching.